hello friends welcome back to this channel in this video we will be discussing a very important problem which is the elevator problem the reason why it is important is because we have to apply newton's law in an accelerated frame of reference which is the elevator and is known as non-inertial frame in physics now let me define the problem the problem is a man in an elevator weighs himself in three situation the first situation is when the elevator is at rest Second situation is when the elevator moves upward and third situation is when an elevator moves downward. Every time the man gets different readings of his weight, we have to explain why it happens. Let's first talk about the first situation when the elevator is at rest. In this case, the weight of the man acts downward and the normal reaction offered by the weighing machine acts upwards. This normal reaction is equal to the weight of the man and therefore he gets the reading as his own actual weight. One thing to note here is that the reading on the weighing machine depends upon normal reaction and not the weight of the man. The second case is when the elevator moves with an acceleration A in the upward direction. As in the previous case, the weight of the man will act downwards and the normal reaction will act upwards. Apart from these two forces, there will be a pseudo force that acts in the upward direction due to upward accelerated motion of the elevator. This net upward force can be written as MA equals normal reaction minus the weight of the man. By transposing, we can easily get normal reaction as mg plus ma. Therefore, normal reaction is now increased and therefore the weighing machine will read out a higher weight than the actual weight of the man. In third case, the elevator is accelerated downwards with an acceleration a. Therefore, we can get the net downward force ma equals mg minus normal reaction r. On transposing, we will get r equals mg minus ma. Therefore, the normal reaction is now now decreased therefore the weighing machine will show a lesser weight than the actual weight of the man and another case can be the one where the elevator falls freely that is the acceleration is equal to the acceleration of gravity small g as we obtained in the previous case that the normal reaction r will be equals to mg minus ma therefore if we substitute a equals g we will get r equals zero therefore the weight of the man will now be zero that is he will be in a state of weightlessness so this was what i wanted to discuss in the video in the next video i will discuss another problem that is based on non-inertial frames of reference i hope you have understood the problem if you have please like the video and make sure you subscribe to this channel i will see you in the next one till then stay tuned thanks for watching